Hello everyone and welcome back to the walkthrough. Load faster, load faster, load faster. Mm, there we go. The first thing that I'm going to do is upgrade one of my partners. I think I'm actually going to do uh, Madame Fleury because she gets a nice move called Lip Lock. And uh, come to think of it, I didn't show her other special move, did I? Uh, I guess I'll have to show that off a little bit later. I'm sure I'll show all the moves eventually uh, during the walkthrough. But uh, her, uh, set, her first special move can blow enemies out of battle, like without even needing to battle them if you do it successfully. And Lip Lock can steal enemies HP and add it to Flurry. So yeah, it's a pretty nice move to have. And I really wish I could upgrade Coops as well, but I am shy one Shine Sprite, unfortunately. Alright, the next thing that I'm going to start in this part is... Not this one. That's the locked one. Uh, this one right here. There we go. I always get those buildings confused for some reason. Hey, is this your first time at a trouble center? If you plan on using our services, I can explain them to you first. Need an explanation? Yes. And listen and listen good. This trouble center is where people come with troubles. That's why it's named that. If you want to see what kind of troubles people have, track that bulletin board. If you're a nice guy, he'll choose someone and try to help them out. If not, not. Help someone out and he'll give you a reward. Probably. Not a bad deal, eh? But remember, if you decide not to solve a trouble, you have to pay to cancel. You got that? Oh good. Go help someone out. Okie dokie. So yeah, this is the trouble center and this has a bunch of side quests that we can do as we unlock them. Um, it basically starts out with six of them. Like, when you have access to this building, then adds three more, then adds a couple more, I mean, adds a three more after the first chapter, adds a couple more after the second chapter, etc., etc., until uh, you beat the game. So I'm not going to mention how many of these there are, but there are quite a few of them, and I plan on doing nine of them this part, because they're all relatively simple. So let's start out with Garf here. They call me Garf. I have lost my key and dust cannot get into my house. It should be somewhere in Rogueport. I just need someone to find it. I'll be waiting for you at the house at the very back end of East Rogueport. Yes, I shall. So yeah, it's free to take these, but you have to pay to cancel. And here he is. <laughs> you took out my trouble? You? Okay, then please find my key and be quick about it. If someone else finds my key, they'll be able to get in my house, so I'll stand guard. I think I dropped my key when I went to the bad shop. But I'm not sure. So, yeah, basically these side quests from the Trouble Center are like, go from one place to another as you're directed to do so, until you uh, resolve them, basically. So in this case, I gotta go up near the Bad Shop. I think it's actually off to the left of the Bad Shop, if I recall correctly. And I have no idea how he even managed to lose a key like this. Just wait till you see the key. Yeah, it's huge! <laughs> It's the house key, and yeah, that wasn't there before, but that's because this quest wasn't active. So yeah, the, these quests also um, make things pop into existence, I guess you could say, along the way, uh, as you accept them as well. So uh, yeah, and let's go back over to him, and here's your house key. Yes, I did. Bloop! Yes, my key! I can finally get inside my house again. Home sweet home, thank you. Please take this as a payment for your efforts. Alright, I got 20 gold! and he goes inside so yeah you can get some pretty nice rewards from this and this is also why I'd like to do these along the way in the walkthrough because it'll help the walkthrough itself because you know I'll have some uh, um, monetary value to buy stuff because you know it's, it's kind of kind of annoying to get um, a coins in this game if you didn't realize that uh, yeah, I don't think there's anything in this house that's all that important if I recall correctly so yeah, let's just go back over to the Trouble Center and take up another one. Which is going to be... Mick Goomba, safe delivery. This is Mick Goomba. I have a simple task. I need to have something delivered. Unfortunately, for reasons I won't mention, I can't be seen walking around Rogueport. Maybe behind Zesty's house on Rogueport Plaza. I think you know who this one is. <laughs> It's that character that I picked fun at a few times for um, uh, spilling the beans on his own outlawness, so to speak. Uh, because he, he tells people he's a wanted Goomba, and then he tells those people not to tell other people. It, it's, yeah, him. <laughs> so let's chat with him. 
You never know no, who will be watching, so let's do this thing quick. Take this package to Goomfrey. You'll find them in front of Frankly's place. And try not to be seen. Okie dokie. Does that mean... Oh, shoot. That cockroach seen us. Oh, I hope that won't matter. Okay, let's go back over to the guy in front of Frankly's place. I think we've already talked to this Goomba before. And he is... This one, I think it is? Exclamation point. Yes, it is. The package. Yes. Or, yep, that's it. I'll dispose of this in a way no one will ever find it. Tell McGoomba I said so. And do me a favor. Forget all this. You hear me? It never happened. For your sake. We never spoke. Forget everything. And when you give McGoomba my message, he'll give you your, your compensation. Remember this. The deal won't be done. So you give my message to McGoomba. Okie dokie. Back to him. I have a feeling I did something illegal. <laughs> did you deliver it? Whew, you saved my neck, buddy. Oh, I, I almost forgot your compensation. You saved my neck. You get something good. 20 more coins. Yay! I got anything else to save for this? Nope, nope. Just the same thing that you shouldn't be telling people. <laughs> <laughs> so back over to the trouble center we go and here we are let's see what is over here uh, price adjustment this is our fur I want to open a new shop but I need help setting my prices but since I can't go into a competitor shop I need some research done I need the price of fire flowers sleepy sheep and tasty tonics in Rogueport I'll meet you in front of this building to make the exchange yes I shall so um, no I didn't. I thought you were going to have something to say before I uh, uh, check that. Okay, fire flowers, sleepy sheep, and tasty tonics. So, go over to the shop and check the prices. I think it's three for the tasty tonic, eight for the sheep, I, I think, and ten for the fire flower, was it? That's why I'm going to check, just to be sure. Okay, so we got tasty tonic, yep. Fire Flower 10, 8, Sleepy Sheep, okie dokie. That contact lens is still there, probably dried out by now, but eh, it'll, it'll be fine. <laughs> she, she wanted a contact lens, but she didn't say in what condition. So, okay, let's go and hopefully I remember the amounts. Yes, I did. Fire Flowers were... This is actually... Wow, if they're going to give me choices like this, that... I mean, like, like, who would choose 1 or 90 in this? It's like, I don't even think you have to remember this. <laughs> Sleepy Sheep. Well, I guess this one's kind of misleading, because it, it, there's a chance it could be 15, but no, it's 8. And Tasty Tonic. Th 198 coins for a drink. Wow. 3 coins. Wow. That's rough. Uh, those are some low prices. Can't believe they're selling that low. Hmm. Even if I try to compete with them, I don't think I can profit... But it is certainly helpful information. Here's your reward. Good work. 20 more coins. Yay! Got anything else? Mm, no. Nope, nope, nope. Okay. Next trouble. Right here is Goomther. Find this guy. Hey, 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 hey! My name is Goomther. Please find the guy that pulled off credit card fraud on me. I'll be in Rogueport Plaza, so come talk to me. Okie dokie. I... Goom well, it's probably a Goomba, obviously, but I don't know... Uh, which of the Goombas it is? Oh, wait, wait. The, oh, wait. Maybe I do know. Isn't that the one that got the credit card stolen from him or something? It wasn't you? Um, no. No. Nope. You're not him. You? Yes. Yes. Hey, you're here to handle my trouble and listen up. Larson the Bandit pulled some credit card fraud on me and took my dough. I want to rough him up for it, but the guy is too wise and I can never catch him. He's hiding somewhere here in Roadport, so I want you to find them. By the way, bandits are those guys in blue outfits who wear masks. There are several in Roadport, but this one will fess up once you grill him. Do this, and you'll get your reward. I'm counting on you. I think he's referring to the guy back here, if I remember correctly. In this house. I think. Because he's quite the troublemaker. <laughs> you. You got some kind of problem, then you think you can just barge into my hideout, buddy? You're probably just jealous. No one's snooping around. It's a perfect hiding spot. 
with all this garbage air and tons of flies and stuff, who'd want to come in here? Okay, that's, yeah, that's not the one. Duh! Oh, so I guess he is innocent in this. A lot, wait, hold on, I just want to, maybe if I talk to him again. But yeah, that's why he chose this dirty place, because there's people, um, I mean, people don't go through there and whatnot. Okay, so I've got to look for someone. Some other band. Oh, oh, I bet I know. There's another bandit over here. Are you him? Mm -hmm. Aha, it is him. What are you, the fraud police? Sheesh, how did I let myself get caught? And then he runs. So now you've got to go back over and talk to Goon for you one more time. Uh, no, 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 wrong one. You guys look alike, I swear. <laughs> Did you find Larson? The guy's on the verge of giving himself up, so don't worry about what it'll do. Just keep after him until you catch him. By the way, Bannon. Hmm. hmm. Guess he doesn't say anything different. I thought you had to talk to him one more time. Guess I don't remember this trouble in its entirety, but I think, yep, he went back over here. Cripes, the fraud police. You don't give up easy, do you? You can't make me pay. And then he runs again. And now... Oh, now I think I remember why I thought he was that other bandit. Because the third time he goes where that house is. Back here. If I remember. If that, if it's what I think it is. Yep. Yep. That's why I thought you were the other one. Cripes, the fraud, please! <laughs> Shoot, you're serious. <laughs> Fine, I'm a man. Do with me as you will. And here he comes. Hey, 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 hey. Looks like you caught him. Nice. Here's your reward. Yay, 20 coins! So, since it looks like you're all out of dough, I'll take it out of your hide. Yay, oh, please! And... It roughs him up along the way. <laughs> Yay! All right, back to the trouble center. All right, we need to talk to. Hit, hit me, please. Mouse million here. I need some some help jogging my memory. Meet me in Rogueport Square in front of the shop. Ah, oh, I remember this one. This one's pretty funny. Uh, you remember that mouse that was just in front of the bulletin board? Yeah, that's the one we got to talk to. In fact, I don't think there's. Wait, actually, isn't there a mouse in the uh, bad shop up on top of the roof? I was gonna say I don't, I don't think there's any other mice on this side of town. But uh, yeah, okay. You, you accepted my trouble. I smell it. Thank you. I, I found a good, I, good lead on the way to make money, but I sort of forgot about it. Uh, so I want you to you shock treatment to try to remember it is. Yes, indeed. Just keep hitting me with the hammer, hit me with the head with the hammer until I remember. See, I already knew what it was because I said hammer ahead of time. <laughs> kind of spoil it slightly there before he well maybe I didn't know whatever but be careful if you hit me after I remember it I'll forget it again. okay let's do this okay it's whack just can't remember just gotta watch his text until he says he remembers just keep hitting him yeah it's, this is how the process works Oh, 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 yay! That's it, I remember now. I have to buy a sleepy sheep at the shop in Rogueport and sell it for a two-coin profit in Petalburg. <laughs> I'll let that tip you your reward. Don't spend all those profits. So yeah, that's a way to, sort of, uh, <laughs> gain money gradually because shops set buy and sell items for different uh, amounts, basically, and yeah, it's there's a lot of items to cover <laughs> regarding that sort of thing. Anyway, let's go and back to the Trouble Center, because there's more to do. Oh yes, gotta help out the people. Bomberto, I'm hungry. This is Bomberto, and I need you to do some shopping. Please come right quick, because I'm starving. Meet me at, in Rogueport, out at the docks. Sure. Mm, are you the one I'm looking for? No. How about you? Are you the one? No, you are not. But I'm at the docks, so are you the one? Yes, I am the one. My wife brought my lunchbox to me, but it was empty when I opened it. I'm so hungry, I could eat walrus whiskers. You gotta bring me something to eat. 
How about, um, let's see. Ah, whatever, anything. Just as long as it's food. Now get to it. So uh, just give them anything cheap, basically. <laughs> I got mushrooms for free, so here, have a mushroom. Mmm, delicious. Oh, here's your reward. I got 11 coins. That's kind of a weird number. Thanks, mate. The trouble is complete. All right, I'm going to do three more troubles this part. So... Here we go. Uh, Kupuk, try to find me. It's me, Kupuk, the wandering hide-and-seek champion. I'm hiding somewhere in Hooktail Castle right now, hiding like you read about. If you find me, I'll give you something good. Think you can do it? Really? Yes, I will, and I will find you right after the cut. On my way through the castle, I should probably show this, just because I'm here. Yeah, oh, a little, I was so close to getting that my first try. There's a star piece hidden right under that panel. Remember where we got that life shroom in this room a little while back? Well, I guess it's not that little while back. It's actually been quite a while by now. Well, that's where the person is. There he is, right down there. Ah! Blast! So, you found me. Curses! I felt sure that none would ever find me here. I'm a master, you see. I love sneaking and hiding so much, I just never stop. It was a hobby, but I kept hiding, and soon I was known as the Hide and Seek Koopa. Koopook? I, I thought it was you. We used to be neighbors back when. We well, I was. Wrong voice. Back when we were barely shell high. Mm -hmm. I like how his mouth is moving despite the dots. Koops, is that you? Yes, Koops, the same Koops who always ha had to be in it when we played Hide and Seek. But you never found me. Not even once. I can't believe you finally did it! Yeah, I remember back then. That one day you hid and no one ever found you. Right, that was the very day that I decided to become the Hide and Seek Koopa. Ever since that day, I hid and snuck and hid my way through life. <laughs> yup, that was a crazy day. But since you found me this time, I'll give you a reward like I promised. A special card! Woo! This is for something on the west side of Rogueport, so... We can't really do anything with this right now, but I will show you that later on. I found this while I was traveling and hiding around the world. I don't need it. Well, I'm off. Time to go look for a new hiding place. Wish me luck. Guess I've still got a lot to learn about hiding if you found me, Koops. It was nice seeing you again, though. See you later. Well, I don't know if Koops really found them. It seemed to be more along the lines of Mario. Now, by the way, and if you didn't realize, this is kind of well-designed because if you... If you have to get up, get back up here, you're, you'll obviously have to use Koops to hit this block right here. Because, you know, you have to do that puzzle with him, and then when you get up to the top, then you jump down, you have Koops already out in your party. And I always thought that was uh, really well thought, <clears throat> thought out overall. Anyway, back to the Trouble Center. Ah! Wait, you know what? You know what? You know what? Let's just show off the power of Gale Force. So hold the A button when it starts getting weaker, release the A button and press it again really quick. If you have good timing, you can get it all the way to the right. And that was a pretty dang good uh, result there. Woo! And that's what that ability can do. I mean, that special move can do. Now, ooh, whoa, 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 a sprite, a spite pouch. Briefly does half damage to all foes who attack directly. Uh, one more battle. I just want to show the lip lock uh, before I go on, just as long as I'm getting into battles along this, along this place. So, lip lock. Press A only when that lights up and hold it. It's, it's kind of like red light, green light. Yeah! And that's what it does. It steals uh, HP. And let's end this battle. Woo! Voila! Alright, now let's go back to the Trouble Center. Boy, that was quick! Alright, two more troubles to go this part. Mayor Croup, listen to me. Will someone please come talk to me, please? I'm waiting at the Pink House in Petalburg. Yes, I will. By the way, if you go over to here and... Uh, Try and take another one, you can't. Just thought I would mention that. <laughs> so you can only take one trouble at a time. That's why I keep zigzagging back and forth uh, between places. And uh, 
Another thing that you might have wondered in the last part is why I didn't go get the star pieces back at Petalburg as well as Hooktail Castle. That's because I knew in this part I would be going back there anyway to do some of the troubles from the Trouble Center. So yeah, I was basically aiming for maximum efficiency and organization. Anyway, let's go back over to the mayor, shall we? All right, I made it alive. Was there ever any doubt? <laughs> Uh, wait, aren't you the kid that talks about playing the game? Yes, you are. Let's see if we got anything else to say here. You already beat it? What? How are you that far ahead of me? Totally cool ending. I loved it. So worth the money. Thank you, there'll be a sequel. Pat yourself on the back more, Nintendo. <laughs> if not, I hope they'll make a Paper Luigi game. Yeah, I bet that'll be awesome, too. Um, anyway, for star pieces, um... Oh, there it is. Oh, come on. Flip, there we go. Voila! There's one of two that I can get back over here as long as I'm here. The other one is... I think way near the right side, or... I thought... Hmm... I thought it was by flowers, but there's flowers everywhere. <laughs> Knowing that it's... or thinking that it's by flowers doesn't really help you. Oh! 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 Oh, there we go! There's the star piece. Alright, let's go listen to the mayor, shall we? In his super bright pink house. And... Well, well, Murphy. You must have gotten my request. Good, good, Murphy again. <laughs> Truth be told, I've been touched lonely here with no one to talk to. So, Jir, why don't you relax with me for a bit? Indulge in old Koopa. Oh, i tell you the truth, I've got a few things to say about kids these days. Their tempers are too short for their own good, for one. Makes me want to smack them. Hey, don't hit kids, that's not nice. But oh, why was it shopping at the Toll Brothers discount super shop the other day? I was trying to pay and my coin purse was stuck closed. And the kid behind me said, Hey, hey, geezer, wanna pay so you can get out of here before the sun goes down? Now, I may be a geezer, but Sundown was clearly taking longer than I was. CLEARLY! Speaking of Sundown reminds me of dating the missus back before she was the missus. <laughs> Love the stories, they just keep leading from one to the other. Always had to have her home by Sundown. Yes, sir! Her pa was an absolute maniac. Yep, I'd keep my eyes off on the sun and get off the face of my missus. Gentlemanly, huh? Actually, it was sort of awkward. Kind of blinding in a peaceful sort of way. <laughs> Just thinking about it makes you feel awkward. <laughs> Isn't memory grand? But that's not what I was talking about. Now, where was I? Mm. Oh, that's right. Kids today. They know nothing about patience, I tell you. And Mario's already sleeping. <laughs> hey, Yoda, stand up and yell. Hey, you punks. Be more patient right now. Oh, wait, that wrong voice. I was thinking that was a kid's voice for some reason. I just failed that. <laughs> Speaking of which... I think I proclaimed my love for the missus in a loud voice. Yup, she was leaving on the train and I yelled it from the platform, like in a movie. Now, er, was that I yelled to her something about her shell, maybe? Oh, wait, I think I've strayed from my main point again. Oh, wait, did I? Anyhow, me, me and the missus were madly in love. Head over shells, I tell you. And you want, and, uh, you can pretty much get the idea of why he can never get Mario's name right. <laughs> No, wait, my point was something about kids today. Or, uh, uh, whatever. Oh, my dear sweet missus, the way you comb my eyebrows, such tenderness. <laughs> oh, oh, sorry, I got distracted there. Anyway, you get my point. Sorry you had to listen through all that. It wasn't too boring, though, I'd wager. I'm just happy to get a little face with the youth of today. And Flurry did not sleep whatsoever. Ooh, I forgot to set up the tea. Aren't I an old nitty? My apologies. In fact, I haven't even added the hot water part. Awful sorry. I got a turtley leaf. Yep, that's what you get. <laughs> so you listen to that whole story, and you get a turtley leaf for it. Well, I guess it's more about helping him than the reward. <laughs> anyway, let's go back over to Roadport. Rogue Port! Okay, one more trouble this part. <laughs> so, I think this last trouble here, you will really like the reward from... Oh... 
Believe me, you will. Our shop inventory is low and I need someone to help me restock. Please come to the shop in Roport Square. Okie dokie. Hey there, shopkeep! Mm, yes, I did. We're having a really hard time finding courage shells. I need you to bring five. Bring us five from anywhere you can find them, okay? That's five courage shells. I'm counting on you. I do I actually have any of these. Mm. Uh, no, I do not. Wow. Uh, you can buy these over at Pedalburg, and yeah, I gotta go all the way back to Pedalburg again. Oh, joy. But believe me, it is indeed worth it. Oh, and I just realized I got a bunch of stuff in my inventory here that I should probably uh, store here. I guess I'll store the turtley leaf or in coupon. I need to have uh, five open spots in my inventory, obviously. Mm. Mm. I wonder if I should store that for later, just in case so a partner doesn't accidentally use that. Uh, you know what? That's good. All right, let's buy with my riches that I got from all the troubles that I've done this part. Five courage shells. And there you have it. We are back. I've got the five courage shells. Here you go. Here you go. Here you go. Here you go. And possibly, here you go. Woo! And get ready for an awesome reward. An ultra shroom. Yeah, that's like bargain price. You trade five courage shells, which you get for 25 coins, and you get this, which is like, a huge discount on this thing. Thank you so much, really, you really helped me. And the trouble is completed. And since I completed all the troubles that I intended on doing this part, I'm gonna end it off here. I hope you enjoyed, and I'll see you in the next part. Uh, you know, I never did get to rub those punies' bellies.